Today is May the 4th, which means it is the perfect time to rank all of Fortnite's Star Wars skins. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so we are starting off this list with quite possibly the most popular character in the Star Wars franchise. It is Luke Skywalker. And honestly, this skin has some really cool edit styles. And I like the original version as well, so he's going to go into A. Now, of course, we have to rank arguably his biggest nemesis, Darth Vader. And oh my goodness, this is such a good skin. Honestly, I'm super sad I missed out on it. I feel like I took a pretty big L there because he's going to be going into S. And of course, you can't have Darth Vader without his alter ego, Anakin Skywalker. Another really cool skin. And honestly, this guy just released... And I already like him. He's going into A. And then, of course, there has to be Padme. I mean, if we're talking like childhood crush, like... <laughs> Padme's gonna go into an A. I actually really like her design, and I think it looks pretty cool. Next up, we got Han Solo. And Han Solo has always been a super cool character to me. He's gonna go into A. I like this skin a lot. Now, talking about bounty hunters, we can't talk about it without bringing up Boba Fett. One of the coolest Mandalorians. And for me, he is a definite S tier I love this skin so much, and I'm definitely going to have to buy it next time it comes out. But of course, we can't talk about Boba without the Book of Boba Fett, which is why we're talking about Kurt Kersantin. I think that's how you say his name. This Wookiee looks so sick. He's going to go into B. There's just so many good skins, honestly, out of these Star Wars that it's kind of hard to rank them. Next up, we have Fennec Shand. And honestly, this is like an okay skin, but I would just really never see myself buying this. Which is why I think she's going to stick into a comfortable C. And while I do like her in the show, it's just kind of an okay skin. And then, of course, the Mandalorian who has ties with Boba Fett. This skin is so sick. One of the best Battle Pass skins, I think. And he's going to go out to S. Such a dope character and such a cool skin. The next up, speaking of Disney Plus shows, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi. And this skin is actually okay. I was going to put it into C, but I do think that the character of Obi-Wan Kenobi is pretty important. So I think he's going to go into B, but definitely a lower B. He just looks like a kind of plain skin for me. Now, of course, we have another member of the Sith, Darth Maul. This skin just released and it looks incredible. It looks very good. So Darth Maul is going to be a solid A. And here we have Leia. And honestly... This skin would be higher for me, except for some reason her face looks super weird. Her face looks more like jagged than it does soft. Like her jawline and stuff looks very more profound instead of how she actually looks. At least it's like that to me. So she's going to go into C, actually. The next up, we have the Stormtrooper, the Clone Trooper, and the Sith Trooper. And honestly, all of these guys look really cool. I think if I had to pick my favorite, it would probably just be the Stormtrooper for being the original. But all of these are going to go into B. And then we have Finn, and I'm sorry, Finn, but, like, yeah, it's going to be an F. Then also, we have Zori Bliss, who's going to be another F. Honestly, this skin just looks so weird to me. Next up, though, we have Kylo Ren, one of the coolest new Sith members. At least his outfit looks cool. And he is going to go into A for me. I just love his design. It looks super cool. That mask looks epic as well. And even though the character for me is kind of like, eh, it's, like, iffy. The design is still super sick. And finally, we have one of the most controversial Star Wars characters, Rey Skywalker. And for me, she's going to go into B. She wouldn't be higher just because, you know, the newer Star Wars movies sucked. But anyways, <laughs> that concludes the tier list. Let me know what you guys think down below in the description. Leave your criticisms, what you liked about it, how you would rank different people. And, you know, start those debates in the comments section. And, of course, if you enjoyed, leave a like. And if you haven't already and you want to see more of this, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, and may the force be with you.